Previously, oh, Big Brother again! <laughs> Big Brother legends Reggie, Tim, Farmer Dave, and Estelle returned to where it all began. Oh, this is beautiful. This carpet. Did you not have carpet no. in your house? <laughs> but their happy reunion was short lived as Big Brother set his first secret mission. 11 new housemates will enter the house, hide from them, and do not be seen. Hibernate! <laughs> Never thought we'd both be getting back in the closet. <laughs> as the new generation of housemates bonded... Oh, nice to meet you, Jim. JC. <laughs> the OGs escaped to Big Brother's mainframe, oh, wait, wait, wait. where they watched on as new alliances formed... They've got a full plan out there. They've known each other for two hours. And old flames rekindled. I can't believe that you're here. My feelings for Sam haven't changed. She's my dream girl, and I want her back. Holy shit! What? They're going to pretend they don't know each other. At the first death-defying oh. challenge... Oh, no. Self-proclaimed perfect boyfriend, Joel, won the power to put up three people for eviction. He set his sights on Mel from Melbourne, Alicia and Lulu. Oh, straight off the bat, bro. It's, it's game over for Lulu. At an explosive eviction ceremony, intimacy coach Sam revealed her secret past with Josh. We know each other outside the house. <gasps> Oh. But the biggest bombshell was still to come. Reggie, Tim, Dave and Estelle, welcome. So I'm a super fan. As the fate of the eviction was left to the four OGs. The eviction is cancelled! <laughs> but wildcard Josh was not in the mood to celebrate. Right now I'm livid. You're fanning out over celebrities. Like... They're here to win a game too. And as housemates new and old size each other up, little do they know, three more blasts from Big Brother's past are about to blow the game apart. I came fourth last time. I want more. I want to take it out. This is Big Brother. Who wins? You decide. Day two in Big Brother's house. And housemates both past and present are finally coming face to face. I want to say welcome to the house. It's such a pleasure to have you guys here. Thank you. And um, old versus new, let's just see where it goes. Let's see where it goes. Let's have fun, first and foremost. And yeah, welcome. That's all I can say. Straight in there. Straight, yeah, in, there. No, straight in there. <laughs> all right. Yeah. yeah. Go OK. Go go I'm, I'm a soup, like, I'm a crazy, really? I'm a crazy yeah. fan. I'm disgusting. I've got a photo of me yeah. at, in the Gold Coast yeah. next to the red eviction chairs. Yeah. And I would have been maybe seven or eight. So it was 2002, 2003. No way. Yeah. That could have been Reggie's, Reggie's year. year. That's what I'm saying. That's what I said to Reggie. I went on a family holiday to the Gold Coast and I said, I remember looking through the glass at Reggie Final Three. Yeah. I was like, generations yeah. of Big Brother. It changed, Ooh. changed. It's changed so much. Oh, my God. We have no idea how to play this game. Like, no. you guys have to teach us. Well, no, we don't know. We, we, are, we are working it out as we go. Oh, wow. Are you fanboying, Johnson? <laughs> to think that I used to watch these people, it's just, it's almost like a dream come true. Good to hear, Johnson. Not going to sleep tonight. This is crazy. You put in four absolute superstars. As some housemates wind down from the dramatic night, Lara, oh. can you check your Alex, microphone? Why did you do that? Can I hang my undies up first? Former model Josh is still fuming over the decision to cancel the eviction. What was the conversations having 
whether to cancel it or keep the uh, eviction going. Was it just it was a no-brainer for us. No-brainer? Yeah. I mean, heaven's above. You've been here a day. But that's just the game, isn't it? If you're here to win, like, I play the math, you know? And so yeah. That's where, yeah, my head is separate from my heart. Yeah. I think you all know that I'm a hustler. And so I know that I'll be one of the biggest threats. For sure. Yeah, no, I mean, Josh also wants to hustle his way back into the heart of his ex flame, Sam. Should we have a chat? Should we have a chat? Well, I just didn't want it to be uncomfortable because I'm in here. I feel like it's probably a negative thing for you. It's not at all. I'm actually glad to see your face. Like. I'm just happy that I don't... I just don't like walking around with not being myself. How are you not? Well, I just feel like I wasn't able to, like... There was this big secret. Do you know what I mean? And drama is not me. I'm not drama, and it just felt like so much drama today. Housemates, I have dimmed the lights for a reason. I'm gonna put my gym jams on. Gym jams, gym jams, gym jam, gym jams. Gym jams, gym jams, gym jam, gym jams. Gym jam, gym jams. Man, isn't it? Can you even see? It? Good night, my beautiful housemates. Oh, good night, Sweet beautiful. Dreams. Big, oh, I love that saying. Sweet it's dreams. It's a big day tomorrow. Oh gosh. <laughs> good night. I didn't really ask you, like, what's your opinion of me? What's my opinion of you? Yeah. I think you're hilarious. <laughs> and you have great <laughs> stories. You're charismatic. Your character. But in the future, <laughs> is there a possibility of you developing a crush ever? I feel like this is not the time to have this conversation. I'm just saying. I do want to be someone that you want to fall in love with. Yeah. I just feel like. Yeah, I don't want to have this conversation right now. I want to go to sleep. Thanks for sharing. Did we all sleep well? Amazing. So good, hey? It's day three, and Tim, Reggie, Estelle, and Dave are once again waking up in Big Brother's house. Oh my God, it's sunny. <laughs> Come here. Oh, Hello, Belle. Morning, sunshine. Good morning, darling. Oh, look Your jammies made my heart sing last night. Oh, that was so bright and fun. I thought I need something bright to it keep me so... happy. Oh my God. Did you courage. ask me something bright to keep you happy? Yeah. He's like, I'm doing cooking for my children. <laughs> oh, so are we ready for this? I heard you got four kids. Good morning, Tim. Good morning, big brother. How are you feeling this fine morning? I'm feeling good. It feels so good to wake up in the Big Brother house, finally. Do you think the nominated housemates are grateful to the mainframe for saving them last night? So grateful. Lulu, oh, she's so grateful. It's lovely. You have no idea how stuck I am. Like, people saved to me. You saved you. You looked like a little sacrificial lamb and I just couldn't. I was just like, this is what I wanted to do with you. Yeah, Mel, she's trying hard. Go, Estelle, go, Estelle, go! Like, I feel like she's trying really hard, maybe a little too hard. Tim, I flew in on my magic carpet ride. <laughs> <laughs> and Alicia. It's still good, it's still good. Falcon? No, I'm kidding. She's like the little sister. And I mean, her and Joel are definitely hooking in. Like, that's a budding romance there. <laughs> Oof. Oh, it's not that hard. Oh, it's a flanny. Oh, no, no. It's a flanny. What is your plan for today, Tim? I think my plan is if I just kind of 
just drop like little seeds and, and, and build relationships with some of these new housemates. <laughs> yeah, but we all know how over the top Tim can get and I don't want to like go too hard too fast. It is a different game now. It is. It is a different game. You can't just run around like an idiot, throw a fake birthday and win the show. <laughs> well, best of luck, Tim. How long you can hold your breath underwater? What do you reckon? How many are you gonna how many laps? Holy shit! Yes, T-Bone! Twelve! Yes! That is amazing! As the original housemates dive in. My advice from my experience, and it only worked for me. The new housemates are keen to soak up any advice. When you were on Big Brother last time, did that help? Because this has been so hard, just 24 hours. Yeah. Oh, this is I'm, hard. This is, this is this so, is so hard, hard, but even I, for us. This is right? like... Yeah. But does it like... So exhausting. Don't think that there's something wrong with you no. because of how whack and weird and tired and emotional and this, you just, yeah. you're just... I'm really feel not cut more. out for this show, though. No, like, man. I, you, no, I know, but you just find your centre here now. So just, just, you just find it. You are, you can do this. It's Estelle! I'm from Series 9 in 2012, and uh, the quirky skater girl is what you knew me for. I've definitely grown up a lot, but I am still the same old Estelle. I'm still the adventure girl out to heal the world. What made me unique in my series is that I had a commitment to myself that I wouldn't be a bitch. And I stuck to that. I was the highest nominated housemate in my series. I think if not close to ever. <laughs> so it was a lot of times. It was almost every week consecutively. I have been top three before. I don't know if I'm gonna make it again because I had the public on my side. Now I've only got the people. I'm not trying to have a high school popularity contest. I don't have to be liked to be who I am, but I have to be kind. Ready to play? <laughs> you don't get a table this big very often. <laughs> what are you laughing at? There's some of this other stuff here that was like a chip piece stuff. Yeah. Whatever, Grace. Are we doing Grace? Can we hold hands? Everyone hold hands. Hold hands. Hold hands. Hold hands. Hold hands. We're going to do Grace. Say Grace. <laughs> Just join hands with everyone. Come on. Is she just looking at us? She's just <laughs> disgusted. She's just like, I don't want this bless. Who the hell is saying grace? I'll say it. Thank you very much for everything that's been um, on the table for us. We're very lucky and we feel very grateful. And we're very grateful for the friendships that we've made and all the fun we've had today. Um, Amen. There you go. That was so good. <laughs> How good are these lentil oh, yeah. It's. I thought it was tuna. <laughs> <laughs> it's day three inside the Big Brother house and already the drama and the game are in full swing. Everyone is getting well acquainted in the house, but what they don't know is that three more housemates are coming their way. I'm Drew, I'm 32, and I was in season 10. How would Australia best remember you? Tully. And maybe Tim. <laughs> so, um, before I was evicted, there was like something I didn't really get a chance to do properly in the house. By the way, I'm single. Tully and I, that was controversial, I'll say. She had a partner on the outside and through our journey, she left with me. Hi guys, miss ya. I came fourth last time. I want more. <laughs> I want to take it out.
Hi, my name's Big Trev. I'm 48 years old and Australia would remember me from winning a Big Brother 2004. Big Brother's changed my life in a good way. You're a millionaire! <laughs> when I won Big Brother in 2004, I was more nervous than I've ever been in my life. Only for the fact is that I was going to propose. Freya, will you marry me? Yes? <laughs> my name is Layla Sabritsky, and I was on Big Brother season nine. Oh, Last time, yep, one of my weaknesses was boys. But I was 23, what do you mean? Of course it would be. <laughs> With coming second, I do have a little bit of redemption in me. I think there's still a part of me that's like, you know what, I could seriously win. Trevor! Hi! Layla! Drew, welcome hey. back to Big Brother. <laughs> now, I, I'm sure you guys are all wondering what it is we are doing out here because this is definitely not the front door to Big Brother's house. No. Oh, goodness. What are we doing? Well, I can tell you that Big Brother has something very different planned for you, oh. and it involves going underground. Where the ruts are. <laughs> <laughs> That over there is the doorway to your destiny. Where are you now? Trev, Layla, oh. Drew, good luck. Okay. After you. <laughs> Have a good time. Thank, Thank you. you. Good yeah. luck. Good luck. No. What the hell? What the hell is this? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Still to come, Josh bears his soul. My mum just showed me love like walking into the ocean. It's deep and it's endless and it's relentless. And that's how I love. But can he hold on to his wits in this epic challenge? Josh looks he's, he's got fire in his belly. I'm a fighter. This isn't the worst pain I've been in. spent a total of 272 days in my house. Holy crap. Oh, wow, that's a, a lot. And now, this is day one in my sewer. There are no luxuries here. Really? There is no food here. If you get hungry, 
Then you will have to sneak into the house and steal food from your fellow housemates. In order to enter the main house, you must tough it out here first. If you can remain undetected down here, then you will escape tomorrow's nominations and eviction. For now, Big Brother would suggest you settle in and get comfortable. You may be here for a while. I freaking forgot what you do, you cheeky bugger. <laughs> you do these sorts of things. brother doing this? Nah, Reggie, he wouldn't do this. Hello, housemates. Hi, big brother. Wow, you're so perky. Yeah, because I'm excited now. <laughs> What's happened in the bedroom? Everyone is one by one started getting dripped on in the exact same spot. My head. I do believe there must be something wrong with the plumbing. Big Brother is looking into this. Okay. okay. Surely you've got a plumber on standby 24-7. Yeah, get him in here. <laughs> is there anything else, housemates? No. Big Brother apologises. No. You're chill, man. You're too up and about. Well, I was excited for a challenge. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think... I don't believe him. You don't believe him? Not one bit. It's day four in the Big Brother house. Morning. And after a night of leaky sewer pipes, the housemates have woken wet. Weird that everyone had droplets on their pillow. And suspicious. How was your night's sleep last night, Reggie? Oh, it was crap. Bloody putting water on my head. It was you, I know it was you, Big Brother. Big Brother has been made aware of some plumbing issues oh. and is getting it looked at. <laughs> Look at the pipes. There's pipes. Yeah. Come on, smell. That smells. I can smell it from here. And then now there's all, like, smelly stuff in the room. And one more time, breathing in. Hold, two, three, breathe out. What did you do to these again? So I turned them off and then turned the other ones on. Right, I'm doing the opposite. <laughs> Why can I smell poo? I can smell poo I too. Smell poo. Yeah. I smell poo. Right, we're going to meditate through this. Everyone sit down. It's on the floor. Yes, it is. Come on, just relax, please. Come on, just relax, please. Come on, just relax, please. Chimney crickets. <laughs> This is unbelievable. Yeah. Oh, okay. Whatever smells you notice, really notice the flavour. <laughs> and that concludes our meditation <laughs> for the day. Back is killing me. Stretch day today. Oh. Oh my gosh, that's such a... He's very creative with his ideas. <laughs> you wonder why he's single. <laughs> I think I'd have a new TV show for you, Drew. Find a boo for Drew. <laughs> Find a boo for Drew. Hosted by Layla. <laughs> Tune in next week, maybe we find a boo for Drew. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, too, I'm too paranoid about them all now. <laughs> After Josh cornered Sam about their future together, she's woken up 
feeling conflicted. What a way to start the day. Good morning, how are you? Good, baby. How are you? I'm feeling like I need to have a conversation with Josh. It's a lot to be in this experience and to have an ex-lover there who still has feelings for you after all these years. Good morning. Good morning. God, you're all huggers. Oh, God. Physical touch is my love language too. Show me. I was really excited that he was here. Um, but this pressure, this like these one-liner jokes, just I'm feeling really uncomfortable with that. You done, son? I am, son. <laughs> Sammy. Yeah, I just don't want to break his heart. So, do you want to know what's going on? I just like I feel like we need to have a conversation. I really just want to, like, keep it friendly here. And I don't, I can't promise you whether or not I'm going to, like, form a crush. Just, that's, like, just not on my radar right now. Like, I don't know how I'm going to feel, and having that expectation on me is There's just... There's no expectation. But you asked me last night if I'm gonna, like, if, no. you, if I see you have, I'm gonna ever form feelings for you. I don't know, and it's just a lot. It's just a loaded question. It's... No, I just said, is there the possibility there in the future? It just feels like, it just feels like, for me, on the receiving end of incredible love. Because that's what it feels like, you're showering me. And if you don't want it, like, I will but, find someone that will want it. Like, see, I'm, like, I've been sometimes chasing... I just feel like you don't listen to me I'm either. listening. I'm sorry. I'm just... I'm actually just really hurt, so I guess I just lash out when I'm hurt. And obviously not saying anything I want to hear, so it's really hard to hear. And that's what's, like, what I struggle with is because there's this expectation, and then when it doesn't meet that for you, you get really disappointed. I probably will emotionally close myself off from you for a bit because I don't... That's my defence mechanism now. But what else, what other point is there? Because otherwise I'm just getting rubbed raw on my heart. I Thank you for telling me. Um, but that, yeah, obviously is super devastating. <laughs> it's not unfair to, like, tell someone your truth. And she was just doing that, so it's really brave, but it hurts. Yeah, because it's like, you know, it's just not what I want. I still feel like she's not seeing me. I feel like I haven't got to be me yet. It sucks that it's not reciprocated, but that's life. Like, you don't owe me shit. It's day four in the Big Brother house. And after being rejected by his ex, Sam, Josh is feeling devastated. My mum just showed me love's like walking into the ocean. It's deep and it's endless and it's relentless. And that's how I love. Hey. Hey, fam, can I ask you all something? If we have a challenge today, or the next challenge, I'd really appreciate if you put me up for nomination. What? 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 Dude. Dude. Oh, I'm no. just saying that that's, that's what I want. If you could do that, I'd really appreciate that. Josh, you might change again after you get coffee. No, I'm being dead serious. I just don't want to be here. Like, I'd really appreciate it if you put me up. Mm, that's upsetting. Yeah. Just give me a hug. Yeah. Oh, Josh. Right, like... What a twist. <laughs> Absolutely, man. But, yeah. I, 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 I'm not going to... You it's your decision. You're your own man. 
but I reckon, like, look at it from this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, but I've had a great life. Like, yeah, but I you're gonna you're gonna have ups and downs in here. You know what? There's still a lot more time in today, and if anything changes, just in case, just well, I feel like we're all open for you to come back. That's just breaking my heart because I've kind of lost my reason why I want to be here. Don't try and change my mind. I know what I want. It's like we're not your person. This compatibility is a massive thing. So mm. he's a loose unit. No. <laughs> is that what you think? I don't know. <laughs> I've only known the bloke for a couple of days, and there's a lot of different signs that I've seen. <laughs> You're like a cruise liner. He's like a bloody jet ski. Po, 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 po. Yeah. Jet ski on TNT, I think. What are you talking about with, with Josh? What's going on with him? He's, um, something happens and he's just reacting. Is that a liability? It is. It sucks. Because he's a sick guy. I'd love to see him here. Yeah, with this. Yeah. But, oh, yeah. like, to be honest, mm. from the start. Mm. You were hesitant? Not hesitant, I was definitely keen. Cautious. Cautious. Because mm. I feel like he was going to keep getting, like, fall over his own feet. Oh, well, he has. Yeah. Big brother, yeah, the mood in the house this morning. A lot of heartstrings being pulled and a lot of emotions being sky high. And, and how J Squad, you know, myself, we got Johnson, JC, and Josh, is very, very shaky. Josh has been definitely a, a loose cannon. And if he's going to be chopping and changing, we, we aren't feeling safe. Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I'm just like, I don't know where, where you sit, where you stand. Like right now, it's gone from A to B to C to D. And that's how I'm gonna play. Yeah, either way, like, I'm a wild card, son. <laughs> he is so sporadic, erratic, unpredictable. How on earth can I work with someone like this? This is Big Brother. Housemates. Please be aware, you have one hour before tonight's nominations challenge. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Boy, boy, boy. My goodness. Wowzers. I'm going 500%. Oh, mate, I'm going health the liver. He's got to go. Yeah, I just think you need to be, just be cautious. Yeah, I'll rehash and you anyway. And now you've got like him, Dave, Reg, and Estelle. So just remember, be cautious. Yeah. It'd be fantastic if someone from uh, the newbies win today, because if we don't, the OGs will just keep picking the newbies one at a time. I've walked in on conversations where it's just cut by. Yeah. Really? Yeah. 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 Because they're after us. They're after us. Yeah. They're gunning for us. Yeah. Wait, one of us has to win. Yeah, well, I'm going to give it my everything. Yeah. We do have targets on our backs, the OGs. People that had the power are going to feel a little bit insecure uh, that we're here now. The shots fired from you, we will rally together. And we do have the numbers and the relationships so? yeah. with other people on this side. You reckon? Yes. I don't know. Yes. You want a war? Pansy shoots the first shot. So it's up to you guys. Tell your boys, tell your J crew. So the J squad is basically anyone whose name starts with J. Big, strong alliance, how is it formed? Oh, we've all got the same first letter in our names. Scary. <laughs> but apparently Josh is on the outer. So there's a crack there in the J crew, squad, whatever it is. Maybe there's room for a T. Or maybe we can work with Josh. I don't know if anyone can work with Josh. <laughs> Housemates. Please make your way to the yard for today's nominations challenge. 
Josh, tell me, how are you feeling about the nominations challenge tonight? Big brother, I am a wild card. I never know what I want to do. I just wanted to win me dream girl over, and that rejection really freaking hurt. You're a brave man. I'm a damn fool, big brother. Now, now. Best of luck tonight. Yeah, we better kick some butt tonight. This is Big Brother, and welcome back to my yard. Thanks, Big Brother. I hope you're all suitably fueled and fed for this challenge. <laughs> oh, you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for telling us now. Yeah, absolutely not. Josh, the last few days have been quite a roller coaster. Yeah. How competitive are you feeling tonight? Hey, I, I hate losing, and I'll crack it if I lose. No <laughs> doubt about it and I'll start stabbing everyone in the back. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm not. No. <laughs> wild card, man. Jeez. The wild card. Alicia. Yes, we brother? Joel won the first challenge. Do you think it will be the same story today? No, I don't think it'll be the same story today. I think a girl's going to come out and win it today. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Well, housemates, shall we get to it? Yes. 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 Let's go, girl. Let's go. Today's nomination challenge is all about endurance and strength, both physical and mental. Oh. On Big Brother's command, you will stand on a raised beam, holding onto two rope handles. As the challenge progresses, the beam will tilt further into the air, forcing you forward into a precarious plank position. The longer the challenge goes on, the further forward you will tip until gravity gets the better of you and you fall onto the crash mats below. The last housemate holding on will be safe from eviction and will win the power to nominate. Are you ready to hold on for your lives? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Good. Let's play. Let's play. This challenge will commence in three, two, one. Let's play. As the beam rises, the stress will increase through your entire body. I'm scared of heights, and this is like scary, hey? Relatively easy so far. Too easy, big brother. Whoever wins this challenge will have the power to nominate three housemates for eviction. Joel, how much would you love to win back-to-back -back challenges? So much, so much. Two for two is gonna be, it's gonna be sick. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Housemates now starting to show a sign of struggle. Come on, Lulu, come on. Push. So painful. Housemates, you have been a part of this challenge for 10 minutes. Well done. Only 10. Ah, oh, no. I'm sure it feels like a little more. And up we go. This is the lamest theme park ride ever. <laughs> the more parallel you become, the more pressure your body will feel. That's it, Sammy. 
and Sam drops. Hold on, Sammy. Do it. With the physical strain really starting to burn, this is where your endurance will really be tested, housemates. Reggie, this sort of thing didn't exist back in your day. No, it's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Bring back the good old Big Brother days. We just lay by the pool. <laughs> Unfortunately, Reggie, things are a little different this time around. Are you serious? Oh. You're kidding, mate. Really? Mike. <laughs> no lounging by the pool tonight. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. You didn't think I'd make it too easy, did you? Oh, my neck. Oh, come on. Mm. I'm going to fall. No. And oh. Alicia drops. Good try, girl. Well, Far Alicia. out. This is... Oh. Still. Are you trembling or are you just cold? I'm trembling. This is not hold, cold. Still hold, hold, come on. This Bring is not surfing, board. big brother, nor is this skating. Oh, you would, big brother. With every increase in angle, oh. the strain on your body oh. increases dramatically. Now it's my call. Oh, no, no. Good job, Gab. And Gabby drops. Nice work. On, Gab. Holding on at this angle will have your whole body on the edge of giving out. Arms aching, abs on fire. Who can go the distance? And Mel drops. Ready? <gasps> yeah. Go, Sal, go, Sal. Thank yeah. you. Reggie drops. Our first OG down. I'm out. Thank you. Good job. <laughs> and Johnson drops. Well done. Good job. Well drops. Great. Well done, Lulu. 25 minutes down, seven housemates remain. Dave, Tim, Josh, Taras, JC, Joel, and Lara. Well done, Lara. 52-year-old grandmother showing us how it's done. Yeah, Lara. Your kids would be so proud of you, Lara. Thanks, big brother. There's nothing you can't do. Go, Lara. At this point, the remaining housemates are now in immense pain. Dave, pull it in, mate. Pull it in. You got this. Oh, oh, oh good oh. on you, Dave. Good on you, and Dave drops, leaving Tim as the only remaining OG. Breathe, mate. Keep going. Just keep going. Keep it up on your shoulders. JC drops. The OG's hopes now resting on Tim. Will his focused approach pay off? Get gone, Timmy. Taras becoming unsteady. Tim also showing signs of faltering. And Tim drops. Hold on, Timmy! Huge effort, Tim. Well done. Good boy. Well done, mate. Good boy. Good man. Only four Good housemates boy. remain. Taras, Joel, Lara, and Josh. You got this, Josh. Hold on. Josh, what is motivating you to get through this challenge? My dad joined the army at 50, right? And um, he had to go head to head with another platoon and they were doing a plank. And he was 23 years older than everyone else in that freaking platoon, yeah? And he planked for eight minutes longer than anyone else in their 20s. I can do this. Doing it for your dad, Josh. Yeah. Come on, Josh. Come on, come on, lads. Reset. Reset, lads. Think about the kids. Get them in there. Good job, 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 Dig deep now, Lara. Good job, good job. Go, girl. Push. Huge effort. Come on, Lars. You're so inspiring all us women down here. 
And even the gay men. Yeah. <laughs> Inspiring us too. Go, T. Good reset, bro. Good job, T Man. T Man rhymes with He Man. Oh, Lara. <laughs> oh, no. Come on. Good job, good job, good job. Ah, you're on, you're on. Well done, Lara. I can't believe the strength of that woman. Well done, Lara. You are amazing. I feel like putting money on this now. Housemates, you have been a part of this challenge for 40 minutes. Well done. Taras falls into an awkward position. And Taraz drops. It now comes down to Josh versus Joel. Joel searching for back to back victories. Josh looks so strong, Josh looks strong. He's got fire in his belly. Josh, did you suspect that you'd be still fighting it out in this challenge? I'm a bit big, busy, big brother. But yeah, of course, I'm a fighter. This isn't the worst pain I've been in. We are going to increase that angle. Let's go. If you want it, you better work for it. Hold on, housemates. Go somewhere. Go somewhere. Amazing effort, both of you. Yeah. Great job. You got this, Josh. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Come on, Josh. Wow. Amazing, both on, of you. Josh. Incredible. Insane, actually. Whoever wins this challenge will have the power to nominate three housemates for eviction. And Josh drops. Joel wins his second nominations challenge. Well done, Joel. Congratulations, Joel. You are the winner of your second nominations challenge. How does it feel? Oh, it feels amazing. I'm, um, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. And I wasn't, wasn't falling off there until I was the last person up there, that's for sure. You now have a 100% success rate. <laughs> Everyone else has a 0% success rate. <laughs> zero out of zero. Yeah, zero out of zero. Indefinite. <laughs> yeah. Josh, what kept you up there for so long? Sheer willpower, Sonna. Yeah, did well, man. It was a huge effort, Josh. Well done. Well, Joel. Now is the business end of the game. You have won the power to nominate three of your fellow housemates for eviction. Someone will be leaving the house tonight. Please make your way to the diary room. Thanks, big brother. There is a clear divide. OGs versus newbies. Now, the OGs are definitely going to see me as a threat, and they should, because I am a threat. I'm a proper player in this game, that's for sure. The cushions need bloody tidying up, that's how you are. Ever. Let's ride. Go, go, go. Good on you, Joel. I was good. <laughs> Joel to the diary room. OK, big brother. He'd be freaking mad to not nominate me, though. You reckon? Yeah, I'm too much of a competition. Oh, how are you feeling? Worried. I just think he's going to, like... He's just so fierce. I think he'll just do something really fierce. Joel. Congratulations.
Thanks, big brother. Big brother can see your determination, Joel. Do you think the other housemates will perceive you as a threat after back-to-back -back challenge wins? Oh, man. The only thing about him winning all the time is it's like it's predictable. Yeah. It's like you kind of want like... No, I don't think it will be fair. I don't think the next one he'll win. The others are definitely going to see me as a threat. Uh, Joel's just like, he's, he's a machine. Yeah, like I'm a, I'm a proper player in this game. That's for sure. Well, Joel, who is the first person you would like to nominate and why? One guy's got a huge target on his back. The first person I'm going to be nominating is Josh. I don't really mind. I think it's, it's a game. I'm the quadruple I'm... threat. Good looking, smart, handsome, bad at math. <laughs> The jumping and the here and there and just being all over the shop and not actually be able to control his emotions, that's just something that needs to be taken out. And Joel, who is the second person you would like to nominate? The second person I'll be putting up hasn't been fully honest from the start. She had this past. She didn't tell us about. If she's lied about that, what else can she lie about? For those reasons, I'm going to be nominating Sam. Why? How do you reckon this is going to go? You guys would have been talking about it. Like, you would have had... I don't that. know. I don't know. And the third person you would like to nominate for eviction? Big brother, there is this unspoken trust between the newbies, day ones, and then our assumption that all the OGs are together. No, I don't think he'll do all of us. As much as people want to say there isn't a divide, there definitely is. You know, we had Reggie, Dave, Tim, and Estelle. Like, they were all in the mainframe by themselves, and they had that time to create a bond. It's time to break up the OGs. Thank you, Joel. This is Big Brother. All housemates to the lounge immediately. This is what they tell us. Yeah, this is the... Okay. OG's together. Because I reckon it's going to be us. This is Big Brother. The three housemates nominated for eviction are... Josh. Smart. Sam. Whoa, twists. A lot of twists. And Estelle. I just wanted one time in my experience on this show not to be bloody nominated first. That's not going to happen, boo. I just wanted one time. I know. History repeats and it no, it's far never, outly it's never personal. hurts. Josh, Estelle and Sam. You now have one hour to plead your case as to why your fellow housemates should keep you. Because I'm a wild card. Good luck. I knew he was going to make a big move as far as like... Mm. Either putting like... OGs. OGs or yeah. a big player. Look, there's not animosity, I don't, uh, but I'm still upset because I feel like he's assuming that either I'm safe or he is seeing me as a threat. And I'm like, it's so early, man. What do you think? Oi, good, eh? Perfect. As soon as, as soon as they said it, I was like, he is bang on with it. I couldn't put a better combination myself. I didn't think he had it in him, to be honest. I didn't think he was able to play such a bold move. What Josh has done is put this massive label, the J's on us. Yep. And I think by us creating our own relationships with other people, we're still working together. Yep. Like, like me, you and JC, I think we're doing a fantastic job. Absolutely. Absolutely, because I still, I value you mm. highest above mm. all, all other aspects in here. Mm. For us to get through to the top three, yep. Short thing, mm. I reckon. Yeah, let's we'll get this, this one. And if it's a double, if it's a double eviction, Estelle. Yep. 
Sam's a swing vote, it'll work in our favour. Yep. I've done the numbers. Yep. If the impossible is done where the numbers are pulled off Josh, that would be absolutely astounding. And that would be an absolute power move. How many will she get just from the group? Not many. They're all gonna get rid of Josh. These three nominations are kind of on my side. Oh, I mean, straight up, we're saving the cell. Is it worth it trying to keep Josh? Go oh, for Sam, best shot. I was coming to like Josh. And the thing is, he's now proved himself as our most powerful chance against Joel. I'm keeping That's it. where I'm at. That's where oh, I'm at. Oh, yeah, we get more. To pull off the scramble to save Josh, we need to talk to all the players that aren't physical threats and put the votes on Sam. Estelle, are we really stupid to beat Josh? He's our best competition against Joel. Mm. We need our best physical players that are going to give him a run for his money, and Josh is that guy. He's uh, our best competition against Joel. Maybe shit, he's really spinner. Yeah. works. I never thought I'd say this, but I want to work with Josh. What is Sam going to offer And who do you want to hang out with anyway? He's My a top God, bloke. guys, like, I know, you it's can't... crazy, but God. Reggie and Dave have got a strong argument saying they want to keep Josh. This is Big Brother. Like, sometimes you have to make weird decisions that, in the end, they are better for your game. I don't know why I keep Sam. I love her, I love her, but strategically, I don't yeah. think it's the right choice. Yeah. Excellent point. Yes, talk to Alicia. I was so ready for my vote to be going towards Josh, and now I could be sending Sam home. I don't know if I've got the numbers to save Josh. I have done a last minute scramble. I don't think the guy even knows that I've been rallying for him. Sucks. It's, yeah, it's we don't bloody need, sucks. Yeah, it does suck. Housemates, please make your way to the eviction ceremony. My housemates couldn't get rid of me last time. I'm not going down without a fight. If I survive eviction tonight, I would be terrified if I was the J squad. I think they've caught a glimpse of my potential and that should shock them. It feels like I am the safe boat. It's a gameplay like Joel did well. And I think Josh could potentially be going home tonight. Big Brother's other home is 7 Plus. Dying to know what else unfolded? Or just need a quick rewind on an episode? Full episodes and lots of extras are streaming for free on 7 Plus. This is Big Brother. Housemates, please make your way to the eviction ceremony. Housemates. Hi, Sonia. It's been an eventful couple of days, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I hope you've all made your new housemates feel welcome. Yeah. Oh, of course. I tried my best not to. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations, Joel. You won the challenge today. Yes, yeah, it is. Should we give him a round of applause? <laughs> Two challenges in a row, Joel. Did you know that you would be such a strong physical player when you came into the house? Like, I think I've, I'm very determined. And when I want to win, like, I, I give it everything I possibly have to, to make that happen. Well, Joel, by winning the challenge, you got the power to nominate three housemates for eviction 
for the second time. So how did you make your decision this time around? It was a tricky one still, I believe. Um, speaking with Josh this morning, you know, he expressed how he wasn't enjoying the whole emo like emotional roller coaster that was occurring, you know? And initially, Sam and Josh had this agreement between them where they knew each other beforehand that they were actually withholding from all of the housemates here. So Sam and I haven't had a whole lot of time to have a good conversation and chat. And for her to withhold that information from me, it was very hard to trust her. So you're just trying to break up a strong two? P a potentially strong two. But what I still want to know, and I'm going to go and ask you, Johnson, is if Josh was part of the J squad initially, and now he's not, what happened? I think because of Josh's emotional roller coaster that he had today, I think that kind of threw him into a state of vulnerability. And Josh is a very uh, reactive person, as we know. He'll go left, he'll go right. And because of that, I think he just wanted to go, let's, 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 let's play the game. Estelle, you are one of the most nominated housemates in the history of Big Brother, and here you are what a nominated crown. again. Yeah. What a crown, Sonia. Here we are. How are you feeling? How did you feel when you heard your name? Oh, of course I was upset, Sonia, for that reason. Because it would have just been nice for history to not repeat itself immediately, mm -hmm. you know? And, and you saw the experience, every, Australia, everyone that did see the experience that I had was an absolute battle. Were you told, Estelle, that you were the safe nomination? Um, not directly by Joel, but it's that I will be safe. But the thing is, you don't ever truly know uh, in this game. Joel, when you nominated, did you, did you have one person in mind? I definitely had the eyes on the prize for this one. Unfortunately, I think that it was either him or I at this stage. So given that Josh is the only him there, he is your target. Yeah, definitely. Sam, were you surprised at being nominated tonight? Honestly, I sort of right before we were told, I sort of sensed that it, I would have been. It was coming? Yeah. And why was that? Um, I think it's a bit of a strategy, a strategic move because the way Josh has pretty much just been expressing his feelings over the last few days and Josh being put up against me, he wouldn't... Josh has, like, made it very clear that he just wants me to have this incredible experience. So you think that's why Joel nominated you, to essentially put the squeeze on Josh? Yeah. Well, this morning, Josh wanted to leave. Why did Josh want to leave this morning? I can answer that if you want, Boo. <laughs> I'm so full of, it's like couples therapy. <laughs> Fill me in, what's what's going on? Essentially, Sonia. Sam came out and kind of just told me that it's just not gonna be there for her between us. I was just like, well, I think I should probably leave the house to let Sam actually blossom because I'm such a huge presence that it's not fair for me to be here and suffocate Sam's own dream. Oh, Sam. Sam, Sam, don't cry. Tell me what's going on. It's just a lot to receive. You know, you're just so sweet and I just wish that, like, it's like a backhand compliment, basically, but I just wish I had that same feeling, you know? Sam, how would you feel if Josh was evicted tonight? I think it's pretty clear. Like, I don't, I don't want either of these two to go at all. It really sucks. Like, it really sucks to be sitting here right now. Mel, do you have any idea how you're going to vote tonight? Yes, I do. So your mind is made up? I'm sure now. But you were tossing up between I a couple of I was tossing of up, okay. yeah. 
So, Joel, you did say before that, that Josh was the one in your sights with these nominations. Absolutely, because he's... It was very reactive. So if Sam was to go home, would you be upset about that or...? Absolutely. Yep. I don't want either of these two girls to go home at all. What about you, Tim? Have you made up your mind about where your vote is going tonight? It's a big decision to make. I mean, Josh, he's a loose cannon, but he's our best weapon against the biggest competitor in the house at the moment. And I just think, is this the decision we all want to make, I mean, what good use is a weapon that you can't control? <laughs> <laughs> it could shoot out. <laughs> so it's a hard decision to make. So, Tim, you're wondering whether to keep Josh? I know, wouldn't that be crazy? I mean, no one else is giving Joel a run for his money. I think we've also got to think about not just physical strength, but Josh is always going to be a bigger target in front of you. So, I don't know, while he's in the game, it's someone ahead of you that you can kind of shield behind. That'll get you one step further in the game. Is Sam going to provide that shield for you against Job? Tim, do you think there are a few other people that feel the same way as you? I think there is. I'm the only one saying it. On that note, housemates, the time has come. All housemates will cast a vote except for Joel, who won the challenge. All other housemates will vote to evict either Josh, Sam or Estelle. Housemates, it's time to vote. Johnson to the diary room. Johnson, who would you like to evict and why? Big Brother, I wish to evict this person because I considered them a big threat to the game. And with that being said, tonight I wish to cast my vote to evict Josh. Terrasse. JC. Lara. Estelle. This is the hardest move I think I'm going to make, and I have to vote for Sam because I have to be part of my team. Otherwise, my word is worth nothing. Dave, you can head to the diary room. So, Reggie, who are you voting to evict? I'm, I'm voting to evict Sam. Sam. I really don't want to make this decision. Person I'm... I'm voting for this is style. Both those girls deserve to stay and have so much to show Australia. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I want a housemate that I can live with, that I know what I'm getting each day, not uncertainty. Lulu. The reason I'm sending this person home tonight is because I'm just not ready to let go of the other two people. So this decision I've changed recently. Tim. Hello, Tim. Hello, big brother. You have a bit of a cheeky smile. 
I got up to some mischief tonight. <laughs> what do you mean? I think I stirred the pot a little bit with Joel's target. I don't know if it'll come through, but I think I did get everyone thinking about playing a little bit smarter. Can you please explain to Big Brother why you are voting the way you are tonight and who you are voting for? I'm voting to evict Sam. She's beautiful, lovely, so kind, maybe a little too kind for this game. And that move is to keep Josh in the game. I want to try and control that weapon against Joel. Housemates, it's time to reveal the first person to leave Big Brother's house. Sam, Estelle and Josh, one of you has received two votes and will be safe tonight. That housemate is Estelle. Woo. That means Sam and Josh, it comes down to the two of you. One of you is about to leave the Big Brother house. Sam and Josh, you both received six votes. Whoa. That means it's a tie. Joel, as the winner of the nominations challenge, you will cast the deciding vote. You can only vote for Sam or Josh. Joel to the diary room. Joel, did you think that this was going to happen? I didn't expect this to happen, no. No, I, th I definitely thought it would be close, but I didn't think it was going to be a tie, that's for sure. The person I'll be voting for... Um, can you just give me two seconds? Housemates, Joel has made his decision. With one vote, it's time to go... Josh. I've got one thing to say. I don't know if you remember, but on our first date, I told you something afterwards, and it was a quote from my favourite book. It said, desire is desire. The sun will not bleach and not the tide wash it away. And it's still there. <laughs> Thanks, babe. That was a sick guy. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Josh, you have been evicted. You have one minute to say your goodbyes and leave the Big Brother house. Putting it on a nail biter for you, but that was entertaining. <laughs> oh, he wasn't. Um, feeling good about it. I pretty much um, got what I needed to get out of the experience and gave the girl of my dreams what she needed too, I guess. An opportunity for Australia to fall in love with her as much as I have. Next time, right now, power is with the new kids on the block. Tim finds reinforcements oh, yeah. as oh. the battle between new and old explodes. We could actually turn the tables on these newbies for this blowing my mind. <gasps> but as these icons enter the house, <laughs> Sparks will fly. Yeah, I'm finding Drew to be quite distracting. And a nomination's twist has the house reeling. Like, oh. <laughs>